Gary. I'm Melanie. And these are our kids. We are Simple Life Reclaims. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, everybody? What's going on, everybody? We are home. We're we home. Are. Yeah. <laughs> We're home. It's uh, nice to be home. Yeah, it's very nice to be home. Nope. Our travel was so much fun. Um, you know, as you guys know, we haven't really been posting much here on uh, Simple Life for the last, like, 12 days. Yep, yep. Yeah. But if you guys saw our last video, you guys know what it's all been about. Um, our last couple of, of them, we were like, getting ready to leave and then we had one where we were like traveling to utah and then i kind of did a thing the other day and i was staying up late and i was like you know what? let's just premiere it so i premiered the last video that we post um it was kind of late at night and uh it's the rest of the travel and gary's family the mystery has been revealed and uh we shared our trip with you it was a lot of fun yeah that was a great time was yeah great great time it was really good seeing all your family and how big all the kids have gotten and yep. I don't know. It and was, then, it was super, super fun. Like, I mean, it was, uh, definitely one of those moments where it's like, man, I can't believe that it's been this long, you know? And it's just like, man, all those kids running around and just like, I know and how the last, much they all grew over the last five years. It's like, holy crap. the last time we seen them was even before we moved out here to Arkansas, like a while before. So it's nope. been quite some time. No. But it was really good to see everybody, see how everybody's grown and how things have changed. You know, time flies out here for us because yep. we just stay so busy all the time. But then going out there, it was like really right in your face on how much time is flying. But yep. yeah, we got to see Gary's family, got to see some friends. Yeah, and yep. um, of course, we got to see our very good friend Tundra marry his best friend, uh, yep. the beautiful Angela. Yes, so. that was awesome. It that was. was a super awesome wedding. It was. So. Well, before we get into everything that we were getting into today, because those that uh, hang out with us on our side channel, Real Talk with SLR, you already know what the deal is, uh, what we've been up to this week. But here on Simple Life Reclaimed, we're going to fill you guys in a little bit of it yep. and chat with you guys and hang out and get back into the groove thing. Yeah. Uh, I see Miss Auntie Anne is in here. What's going on? What's going on? Best moderator around. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. being in here. Uh, Miss Maggie Creech. Hello, hello. She says, hey, hey. I'm ready for the fun to start. Yep. <laughs> uh, Miss Kathleen McGinley. <laughs> Stewie, D. Connor, Aronix1979, hey, hey. Kevin's or Kathleen Sasser with all those super cool member emojis. How's it going? How's it going? Um, Lori Larkin, Heather Hopper, Ryan Kelly, hey, hey, hey. Linda Oki, Sherry Ordell, How's Chance going, Weaver, Alan Dixon, uh, Mendy Connor. I'm trying to just scroll down real quick and say our our, our hellos uh, to everybody that's in here. Possum Run Homestead, Mike Birch. Misty Bussy, hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. James Newell, good to see you in here. And Jean, good to see you too, honey. Yes, yes. Wayne Adkins says, welcome home. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's so nice to be home. <laughs> we had quite the warm welcome back home too, guys. When we got in, uh, the dogs, they were so happy to see us. They were like, oh, please, please. Man, that was pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Howling. Gave them, gave them a little bit of loving. At least the, you know, the three normal outdoor dogs or whatever yeah them all some loving and then you know in a matter of like 10 minutes they were like yeah you're old news i don't care we're running around <laughs> they start and chasing messing each around other. with each other and yeah i was like all right well <laughs> go back to the other three give them some love yeah our senior dogs right um, they, they wouldn't leave our sides <laughs> no <laughs> like, i mean in fact they're literally all behind us right now on yep. the pillow the pink pillow so yeah Anyhow, Paul Honeyman, good to see you in here, sir. I hope you're feeling better these days. Yes, yes. I really hope you are. Um, we got uh, Eva Wilson. Hello from Colorado. Hey, hey. We were in Colorado for a very short period very, of time. The southern west side of we, Colorado. We went to the Four Corners, <laughs> which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, it, 
at the end of the day, it's it's a spot in the middle of nowhere where all four of the states meet. But it's kind of something cool to say that you were in four states at once. Yeah. You know, and that's um, what Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado and Utah. Yeah. Like where they all the intersection of them all. It's, it's a cool thing to say. Right. It's a cool thing to do with the kids. Yeah. It's better than like pulling over on the side of the road to see like the world's biggest ball of yarn. Yeah. <laughs> I still wouldn't be opposed to. I'm yeah, let's saying. go find the world's biggest ball of yarn and go drive to it and go see it. <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> Road trips are fun because, you know, like, not only is it cool to get to a new destination and then, like, chill there and experience that place, but it's the journey. It's yeah. all about the journey. Uh, circling back, that's kind of like our channel and our whole life out here. Like, Yes, it's going to be so awesome to have our cabin finished and have this beautiful home set and stuff. But the journey of it all, like doing it ourselves and taking everything day by day and trying to soak it all in. That's honestly, that's what it's all about. And that's what we're hoping to convey in our videos and stuff with you guys. And that's really what we're trying to share. No, you know, definitely as uh, this trip has made it to where I can enjoy it a little bit more. Oh, yeah. We were having so much fun today. Versus, I mean, like, I mean, it's just so mundane doing the same thing over and over Sometimes. and over again, trying to achieve the same goal or the same, you know, thing, you know, and it's just nonstop mundane of the same thing over and over and over again. Well, so, I mean, you and I, like part of our, our journey and stuff out here, like we've had those moments where it was just the same thing physically, just like murdering yourself over and over yeah. and over again. <sighs> From digging out the footers and everything to all of the block laying that just, it takes a long time. It's a long process. But right? at the same time, that's where, like what you were saying, we want to enjoy the process. We mm-hmm. don't want to just go through the motions and be like, uh, I yeah. can't wait for it to be over with. Which, I can't wait for it to be over with because I do want to enjoy the, the, the fruits of our labor, you right. know. But that's where it's just like, man. That's when you gotta, gotta bring it. We gotta, gotta bring it back, back in. Then, you know, you gotta reel it back in. But today was fun. We we uh we were back up there working. Yeah, we were getting it. And I gotta say, I'm gonna dust my own little shoulder off. I was very proud of myself. I had no sketchy, scary moments where I was like, oh, oh, right. Yeah. Like, and I was hopping around from spot to spot up there. I was like, I got a whole new fire in my step. I was oh. having a good time up there. That was fun. I mean, yeah. it was a good time. It was a very good time. A very good time. Uh, John Evans, I'm looking back on the chat now, guys, because you know how me and Gary squirrel off sometimes. John Evans says, Mel, what time is it there? It is 7.08 p.m. on Wednesday night. Yep. That's what my computer right says. Uh, David Moffat, I'm still lurking, just burning up the printers on Junk to Gems order to get her done. While you get her done, David, we're here. Thank you for popping in as you can, when heck you can. yeah, heck yeah. Everybody, if and whenever you guys are able to join us, we appreciate you guys for being with us, truly, from the bottom of our heart. Yep, yep. Uh, we just like spending time with you guys. You guys are awesome. And uh, we're thankful for you mm-hmm. spending your time with us. Um, Paul Honeyman, hello again to everyone that's been along with us tonight. Yes, hello, everybody. Yes, yes. And then James Azura, hello from North Dakota, Mel and Gary. Hello, oh, James. North Dakota. Are you frozen? <laughs> you guys are getting more snow. More snow. More snow every time I turn around no. watching Ryan Hall. I'm like, ooh. They're getting hit up there, man. They get hit over there all the time, though. It's one of the colder states, like, um, parts of Montana can be like that. Doesn't it, like, oh. blow off that way? It's all, all you Canadian border <laughs> states up there. It takes some boost, though, to live in those areas. Let me tell you what. We were just visiting the snow while we were out in Utah, and I had a great time with it. But I promise you, when I say that I was perpetually cold, I was perpetually cold. I was wearing, like, two or three different pairs of long johns every day, and I only packed, um, like, well, actually, I was wearing two pairs of long johns and then a pair of clothes, so I was wearing, like, three layers every day. You would have been freezing on the fishing trip. I would have been freezing. I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, there was, the first bit of it, it was just in the open field area right there, right? Mm-hmm. And the wind was just, like, oh, my goodness. I couldn't believe how, like, that wind just definitely made you a little chilly. And then the second spot where we all got skunked at... It was nice and warm and toasty. It wasn't cold or anything. <laughs> Sorry if you guys are hearing a rapper. I'm going to get into some of my goodies that we brought back from the West Coast. Don't mind me. Uh, you want one? <laughs> I don't think there is any. There's one left. Is there one? There's one left. That's a different one. Oh, that's, that's a different, a different one. one. I mean, do you want the spoon or do you want I'll the I'll take this guy. Okay. I'll take this one. So some of the I stuff like that we had to get and had to bring home from the West Coast is like our Mexicano candies. 
because you can get these like everywhere on the west coast and good luck finding it out here in the south so yeah it's good yeah. it's like literally a spoon with this stuff on it and you eat it like it's a lollipop and it's good and then the other one is like a um a mango candy on mango the underneath hard candy. and it has like the same chili powder stuff on it. it's really good so don't mind me i'm gonna i'm gonna snack i hope you guys don't mind we were really putting in a lot of work today um, we I'm were back up to on working on the deck. Uh, we were doing a lot of the hard parts of the measuring and the remeasuring. And then, uh, of course, bringing up a big giant post because the last time that we worked on the decking, um, we kind of, we were putting up all the posts, but we still had that one corner to do. And I'll just say the corner blew our minds and I'll just leave it at that. The, that corner over there, it blew our minds. And procrastinating and procrastinating yeah. it for a reason. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guess I didn't need to procrastinate. I'll just say that. All right, but <laughs> it blew our minds. <laughs> yeah, I won't. I won't spill too much beans. Yeah, it's okay. Um, let me see. Wiley and Jen knew I was joking. Uh oh oh, I just saw that. I saw Wiley and Jen. Hi, Wiley and Jen. If you guys are in here, hey hey. Candy on a spoon. That's different. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of different. It's like this. Um, I think it's called chamoy. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but I've been eating it my entire life. Used to get these from like the ice cream man when he'd roll through the it's neighborhood. Like the chili powder Lucas uh -huh. stuff. It's good. It's very good. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Um, we had snow up here last night, but most of it has melted away today. 32 degrees, Lori Larkin. Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys can keep that up there in the north. All right, we'll, <laughs> we'll keep the sun. With a uh, little bits of rain, you know. <laughs> Tim Piles uh, said, hey, Sister Mel, enjoy the vacation video. Really awesome job. Hi, Gary. Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I put a lot of work into it. It was 12 days of footage that I, and I mean, honestly, we were not recording, like, nonstop. Actually, we weren't really recording very much at all. No. And that's because we were trying to enjoy the time with everybody. And uh, not... All, everybody that we went to see out there, nobody does YouTube, so it's kind of a really foreign thing for them. And you whip out a camera, yeah. and everyone kind of freezes up. They get, like, the deer in the headlights. Oh, no! You know? I, I mean, I totally understand. I get it. it I get it. It is one of those things. It is one of those things. <laughs> everyone feels, like, super awkward all of a sudden. They're like, uh. Yeah. So instead of making moments awkward, we decided just to enjoy, enjoy. the moments, you know? <laughs> I enjoyed the moments like no tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I, our mountain home is I'm in here. Good that. to see you guys. Very, very good to see you guys. We miss you. Hey, you guys are yeah, going to yeah. be out here really soon. Like for, for soon, for soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Drew and Lindsay are in here. What's going on, Drew and Lindsay? Oh, and Pops. Hey, Pops. Good to see you, sir. Ah. Mm. So Chance Weaver says, hey, Gary and Mel, just wanted to tell you in Rogers, Arkansas, which is by Fayetteville, Arkansas, they are going to be getting a jack in the box. That might be worth a trip up north. Just saying. I've never, I was We've never, never been to Fayetteville. I mean, we have, but we just drove through it, but. We did? Yeah. When? We, we've gone through Fayetteville a couple of times. Well, but. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm not a big Jack in the Box uh, fan, to I be am. quite honest. I like, like their I mean, buttery Jack Burger. The one mm. thing that I really liked from Jack in the Box was their tacos, and it's like their worst thing, I think, probably for most people. But <laughs> tacos is what I was I would always get after. Anthony would always get those, too. No. Late night, roll no. through the old Jack in the Box. And the... Uh, the potato bowl type thing that they would have every now and then, but I don't know. There was a few things that they would have where I was like, all right, but for the most part, I wasn't, I wasn't really that, jack I wasn't that kind of, I would rather go to inbound. <laughs> hey, Tundra Jason's in here tonight. What's going on, Tundra? He says, hey what? guys, doing physical therapy right now. Got into an accident on Wednesday. Got T-bone side swiped on the highway. I hope I'm, I still, I, man, I can't believe it, but I can believe it because we were just in Vegas driving. Oh I'm God. sorry. You, I'm sorry you got hurt, but at the same time, I hope that it's not like, no, too bad. Take care of yourself, me. Yeah, definitely take care of yourself. Hopefully they took more of the brunt end of the damage. Yeah. And, and thank goodness you got, you got little misses that I'm sure is helping taking care of you too. So 
And um, let's see. Yeah, I don't. I don't miss that part of driving mm. out there. Stewie That's says definitely something nice. The ultimate cheeseburger. The mm. ultimate cheeseburger. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a very good. We definitely kind of went like on a foodie tour while we were out. Couldn't help it. We couldn't you know? help it. There's so much good food that we don't get over There's here. There's so much more food that I wanted to get too. There was. We, we there was couldn't. more food that we wanted. We couldn't like. <laughs> There, there's so much, you know, that oh, we're like, oh, I there was one this, other I thing. I'm going to go grab it and show it to you guys. There was one other thing that I had to make a pit stop for because they don't sell it out here. And it's actually like not really a big deal. It's kind of a normal brand uh, on the West Coast. About. I'm going to show you guys the salsa. Let me, let me go grab it. I really know what quick. you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. And you would think that, you know, especially Arkansas, just, just saying, all right, being home of Walmart. They would have more items like this or like all of what they carry in all of their Walmarts here. You would think. So it's not even like that I big of a deal. And it's actually pretty cheap and stuff, to be honest with you. It's yes, like it's like the it's cheap salsa those... or whatever. But it's one of those things that has its own distinct flavor. And my grand, you know, I eat specifically this sauce on my tacos since I was like as far as I can remember. It was like mm -hmm. my grandpa's, my grandpa's go to. And Normally yeah, they, they don't sell this out here on in the South. They don't. They don't sell this particular brand. For whatever reason, they have like the Herdez and other stuff, but they don't sell this particular brand. We've looked high, we've looked low, and I promise you they don't have it out here as far as we've been able to find. And we've looked. Nope. They also have um, like the salsa, like the fire roasted salsa. And this stuff is really good if you're making like a... Um, Oh, we, I just made it the other night. Oh, chili, chili, chili verde. verde. So good, guys. So good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we of course, we went to the store. And like, I feel bad for anybody that wanted to go and get it like behind me. Because I like, em we emptied out like the shelf. <laughs> we grabbed whatever was there. <laughs> because we we're splitting it with Anthony too. Because Anthony is like, better bring back my salsa. And yeah. I brought back the salsa. <laughs> I had to, man. I had to. Um. Uh, Sherry wants to know, what brand of coffee do you buy? We usually just buy great value, to be honest just with you. Cheap like old just coffee. the but it's like the um strong good roast or whatever. Medium roast. Yeah. And so. it's just the big huge canister that you can get at Walmart. Uh if we're not going with Walmart brand, then we'll get Folgers. Yeah. You know, we're not anything too fancy around here. No. No. But, but. I like it strong though. I'll brew it strong to where like there's several scoops in there. It's pretty thick. There's some times where it's like, oh my goodness, I can't <laughs> drink it. All right? It's like, it's like you're eating it. It's, like, it's a soup. That's not, <laughs> it's like, coffee's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> Into the mist. Ooh, I want some of that green sauce. Girl, come over for a taco night. We'll get it. Let's get it. I got, dude, I got some. I got, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, I took the shelf. Like I took the shelf because I was like, I don't know how long it's going to be until I we do can get it some, again. I want, I want some street tacos here soon. I could do lie. that. I could do that. I definitely want some street tacos here soon. Some lime. Make the pico. Mm-hmm. Make it all. Mm. I think it was Sunday I made the uh, chili verde. Mm -hmm. I think it was Sunday. But Chili verde is good, but it's not good. <clears throat> you know what I mean. Auntie Anne says, I think I've seen that brand before, but I don't remember where. If you remember where, and it's like in a, this vicinity area-ish, even if I got to drive an hour, like we'll make a visit out of it. And it's I'll in go Oklahoma, get my... let me know. Yeah, <laughs> no. we'll make a visit out of it just to go get it. We'll come, we'll stop by, we'll have some, we'll have some good food. We'll hang out. <laughs> hang out. Eat some salsa. <laughs> make a day out of it. Um... Order it online. So if you do order it online, like it's ridiculous. I did look to buy it online. Like this, yeah. this jar right here is probably no more than like three dollars at the most, right? But if you buy I it think online, it was, like 358, was it okay? Well, that's like inflation. Something like that. That's inflation. <laughs> that's definitely inflation because I but remember this being. I remember like it the, only being like two bucks. Yeah, yeah. like the dollar fifty. You but know? I also remember it being in a jar. It was in a glass, in a glass, a glass bottle. Bottle. Mm -hmm. So that might be more. Maybe you're getting weight more. Yeah. I don't know. But when it used to be like super cheap, like $1.50. And those, then it's kind of creeped up in price. One of those sauces that you'd have to go like this and then you tend to always go, <laughs> poop, and a huge <laughs> amount came out. I mean, that's our childhood. That's that our childhood. Can't. <laughs> 
and my grandpa would like half tip it and he'd be like sitting there fighting with it with a butter knife in there Kinda. scraping it out one little by little. Um, no he wouldn't shake it because the second my grandpa would shake it like he was it would, the, do, this it would do this and my grandpa wore like these white button up shirts right like all the time and it didn't matter yeah. if it, and he it would splatter on him and then he'd get so frustrated Beverly, gosh darn it, Rassum Frassum. Oh, Auntie Anna wants to see the bottle <laughs> again. Memories. La Victoria. I don't know why it ain't zooming in. Or... Mm. Linda McLean, Mel, La if you're Victoria. having a craving for something in Arizona, let me know and I'll send it to you. That Ooh. would be amazing, Linda. We got an Arizona hookup. Heck yeah. Don't tempt me with a good time, girl. Thank you. You got a Roberto near you or a John <laughs> Torta? <laughs> Gary's all, you're going to need some dry ice. <laughs> you're going to need. <laughs> you get five of those breakfast burritos shipped over here. <laughs> On stack, right? In. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, I living, wanted, I living better either. outdoors. I can take you a case of that salsa next time I drive out there. Northtown represent. That's right. right. Uh, funny. So uh, uh, living better outdoors, they left us a comment and they knew exactly where we were at when we were paying that four forty five. They're like, yep. oh, you're on Craig and MLK. I'm like, yeah, yep. that's the old stomping grounds. They're like, yeah, we live out here. I'm like, yep. yep. From the same hood. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Man, but you was, know what's up, all right? I was getting you know all I was getting all nostalgic, like no tomorrow, <laughs> rolling in or like coming around that corner over by the gas station, seeing the little ledge. And I'm like, man, that's a little skater ledge that I used all, to hit I all the time. There. I skated there. The there. manual pad that used to be over by like Albertsons <laughs> that turned into Lucky's that is now I think Smith's right there. I don't know. <laughs> that thing's changed so many different times. I'm telling you. Um, a lot has grown over there, though. Like, I can't believe how much has changed in that area. Oh, wow. David Moffat says, I'm part owner of Blackout Coffee Company. I'll see what we can do to send you some really good, strong coffee. Heck yeah, Ooh. David. Is that one of those ones where I, I'm going to be, like, hurting if I put the four scoops in there? That's one of the ones I should start out trying with just two? Mm -hmm. It sounds like it. The name. Right. Sounds like it's going gonna, it's gonna to do some damage in a good way. Michigan life above the 45th parallel. What's going on, guys? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I see you guys all the way up there in Michigan. Are y'all cold, too? Or y'all doing all right? <laughs> I hope. I'm, like, always talking about being cold because I'm, like, perpetually cold. Man, it's so nice in the house. And then this <laughs> woman over here is always heater on, heater on, like, pointing it right at her. And I'm she, like, what in the world is going she, on? It's perfect out in here. Like, it's nice. Making me wake up with dry throat and everything else because she's blowing all this heat this way. I will say I am the weirdo like, that eh. even during the heat of the summer, like when it's really, really hot and everybody's just wet all the time, I still wear two shirts. I just do. I have to be the one to wrap, <laughs> wrap up the heaters and put them away because if I don't, she's just going to sit there and keep on turning them on in the middle of the summer. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was cold. <laughs> Midnight Vlogs. Hello to all in the chat. Well, hello, Midnight Vlogs. Good to see you How's guys How's it going? How's it going? Um, cuddly Texan. Hey, what's going on, sir? Good to see you in here. Um, Alan Dixon loves the cats and dogs. Me too. No. Uh, Brooke Burks, have you tried the Death Wish coffee? I have not tried that no, one. I have... I'm kind of scared, too, because I don't have a Death Wish. I don't want to, um, like... I don't know. It's I'm from scared. what I understand, it's not <laughs> that bad. I think I had some of it when I was out at work in Boulder City or whatever, but I don't know. It's strong from what if I if it was what I think it was, but it's not as bad as what like. Ooh, you Auntie think Anne says that they sell that brand at Resource here in Broken Arrow. Well, hey, mm. hey now, that's mm. not very far. I mean, I'm sure we can find a reason to go to Broken Arrow, if nothing else, than to come visit you, Miss Auntie Anne. Yeah, We'll yeah. stock up on our supply. Um, a cool thing, Mama. La Victoria Green Salsa, 349, uh, 15 ounce. Yeah, it's yeah. not it's not too bad, and that is with inflation, because I'm telling right. you, I remember being able to pick them up for, like, $1.50, and like Gary said, they used to be in the glass bottle. Yeah. Um, so maybe it was a little, maybe it was a 12-ounce bottle or something. But I know that, like... Everything's gone up, so I'm not surprised that it's over three now. But it's still, it's not like it's super expensive salsa. No, it's still but cheap it's good. at three fifty. It's still cheap for it's salsa. Salsa like it's that and tapatio. Mm-hmm. 
Now, those are the two. <laughs> mm-hmm. <coughs> uh, hey, Drew's Lens. Good to see you in here, sir. What's going on? What's going on? Um, Paul Honeyman, Gary, if I get a container full of electric heaters, don't send them to you. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> the Please, P.O. No. box is listed in the description below. <laughs> no. I'm walk around the corner and there's going to be one here, one there. What in the world? Uh, Miss, uh, Misty says, yes, it's still cold up here in Michigan. Man, yeah. when do you guys actually start getting your uh, spring? Because today kind of felt like a nice warm spring day, although the morning was chilly. Yeah. Uh, but like once after it got past like 10 o'clock this morning, it was just like, all right, I'm getting rid of this jacket. Mm -hmm. And especially once we started working and busting booty. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was half tempted to take off my, my hoodie, but I just kept on working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> kept on working it was at that perfect temperature right or it wasn't a bother one way or the other uh chance says it uh, it's at kroger's in little rock i'll go up there and check it out let you know let me know my sister Dude. lives near little rock too and that'll be another reason to go down there and visit and hang out and, and you see, know i want to check my supply <laughs> i want to check on uh sam's club yeah that's one place Fort we Smith, haven't done that's mm -hmm. they, they don't have a costco out there but mm -hmm. sam's club i mean it's a a bigger Walmart, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Trish Rydell, so glad you had a good vacation. It was good to see extended family having... Oh, Tiny. <laughs> you betrayed me, Tiny. Here we go. The first oh, one of the night. Did, I, did <laughs> I do that? <laughs> did I do that? <laughs> did I do that? <laughs> yeah, we're old, okay? <laughs> hey, that was a good show man. that was a great show that was, that was a great a fantastic show. show i missed that show they still have it on peacock i think or to be or okay there you go one of those. back to your home <laughs> back to your home what were we saying Fly. i don't even know what i was saying now <laughs> squirrel I don't know. we'll just run with squirrels i don't know <laughs> um let me see um brooke says they have Costco's in Little Rock. So Little Rock's like another two and a half hours away, which isn't far, but it's no. a little it's a little far for just a Costco run, you know. No. If you had something specific. Although Sam's they do have that up in Fort Smith, and Fort Smith is an hour. Yeah. That's where I'm wondering. Mm -hmm. I still want to go and check out Sam's Club. Mm -hmm. Problem is you have to make a freaking membership in yeah. order to even go in there and see. To even find out. Do I really want to make a membership? Can I can I make a temp one? Um, Drew's Lens, uh, Mel and Gary, did you all use 12 inch block all the way around or just the back wall? Sorry, I forget. We did 12 inch on, in a U shape, basically. So the front side is all eight inch and then this dividing, uh, wall is eight inch. The way that it was explained to us is that because how deep we are and the earth pushing up against it, anywhere that the earth is going to be pushing up against the hydrostatic it. Hydrostatic pressure of... That's what it was. It was fancy. Pressure, basically, pushing up against the wall. You want to make it to where it's a thicker aspect. All right. So if the dirt's touching it, you definitely want rebar and you want concrete inside it. There are plenty of people out here in this area that will just do the 8-inch block, but we've also seen plenty of failures out here, too. And yeah. that's the reason why. So the, <laughs> the guy that was a professional a for 30, many, many 30 years... Year experience, the uh, Mason said, hey, I would go with 12. Yep. So we... That's what we did. We took his uh, pointer on that, and that's what we did. Yeah, so yeah. the whole U shape of this basement was 12-inch block, friend. 12-inch no. block. 50 pounds, each one. <laughs> Every one. 1,500-something <laughs> blocks. Right. Just for the U. Totaling out to right around, like, 1,600 or... No. 1,700 blocks? blocks or something like that. I don't know. We ordered a ridiculous amount of blocks. I'd have to go back. I know that we, have to look I know back that we, at it. Um, we saved all the information like in the videos as we were making the videos. But at this point in time right now, I can't remember exactly. It's been a minute. But it was a lot. It was a lot of block. A lot, a lot mm -hmm. of block. Yeah. Yeah. But you can do it. You can do it. If we can do it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you guys how if you guys need me. If you're not burying it, I'd go with eight inch. Yeah. If it's the just going to be above ground. If you're burying it. I would go with the, the thicker boy because mm -hmm. it's just going to 
make it last that much longer. <laughs> Drusland, sorry, sensitive subject. Not as <laughs> It is no. a little bit. It is a little bit. You're not going to lie. The thing is, is that... 12 inch. I hear 12 inch and I, I sort of twitching. start twitching. <laughs> no! The thing is that we know that, <coughs> that we're going to do block again. <coughs> <coughs> So, we're definitely going to be doing block again <laughs> not anytime <laughs> soon so don't when me guys don't start the when all right but, but i have been thinking about gary has made a decision my garage yeah mm -hmm. now i don't know if i'm gonna go block all the way up i'm gonna go at least four feet and make it to where it's got like a, a like you know a skirt on the building um. you know Maybe. Lindsay says they're burying it. Definitely do the U in the 12 inch block. I would do the 12. Yeah. You're going to want, I mean, you don't have to have to, but that's what the 30 year Mason suggested to us. Yeah. And you're strong, Drew. You got this. And it's Lindsay, you're going to be the best everything. mud monkey ever. And help, I mean, I know that you guys together, the two of you guys are, you guys got this. They got this. Yeah. 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 But you, we'll come over. We'll let, me help, yeah. let me just let you just be aware of the challenge that it's going to be. But I know that you guys are up for it and you guys oh. can do it. 100%. If we can do it, y'all can do it. Mm -hmm. Um, Hi, Brian Wilkerson. Of, how big Good of a, to see you. How big of a pad are you you're thinking of? Ironic says, Gary, watch how you move those hands. Tiny is waiting and we'll follow you. Yeah. Tiny going to catch these hands. <laughs> Tiny going to catch these hands. <laughs> Um, Auntie Anne, remind me closer to the meetup and I'll pick up some La Victoria Salsa Verde, medium, thick and chunky, 16 ounce and bring it to you. Heck yeah, I, I totally will. And, um, I'll get you on it. Cause that is, that's fire, man. Thank you so much for the offer. I will definitely take you up on it. Um, Hey, Clarissa and Sizzle. What's up, Sizzle? For Sizzle, Sizzle. And, uh, Michigan Life above the 45th. Good to see you guys. Hola. Um, hola, Mel and hola. Gary, the blockheads, but only when doing working with block. I don't know if I, you give us too much credit. <laughs> We're yeah. blockheads all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> we were having too much fun up there today, guys. Gary and I, um, up on top of the deck, deck, getting all those posts. I mean, it's very mundane stuff. But at the same time, when we're working together, we're always laughing, having a good time, goofing around. It makes the day go by a lot faster. And um, it makes the tedious jobs that much more enjoyable to do. Yeah. You know? I had Mel standing there like a, you know. Yeah, I was the, st I was the strong one today. Oh, you did it, she Gary. Was, she was the holder. Mm. <laughs> She's like, any day now. <laughs> any day now, Gary. Okay, day, Gary's sitting here with the measuring tape. Feeling the air. I think the wind is going this way. Scratching his beard. I'm standing up there. Oh, holding this thing. And it's hey now, babe. It was pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty funny. Uh, I mean, I was laughing too, but I think you were doing it on purpose. You're like, I'm going to break her back in for this work. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, what's going on, Jamie and Kevin? O'Rourke's Little Field. What's going, what's going, on, what's going on, on, guys? So good to see you in here tonight, too. Um, oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Did <Yeah>. I do that? <laughs> right. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, Paul, I will definitely, <laughs> definitely be doing it in an 8-inch block for the garage, because yeah. I, ain't, I ain't bearing it. In. No. That's, that ain't happening. No. But it's... Uh, it's, it'll be stout, that's for sure. Yeah, and we are going to start working on Gary's garage, but we're going to, there's no real, like, rush for that at this time. When we, the reason why we got the garage pad poured was because we did think we were going to work on the garage sooner than what we, we did. Are, but, but at the same we time, we changed our minds. At the same time, it, you know, it allowed us to let everything sort of settle mm -hmm. in that area, you know? So now it's in a nice, that, that pad is there. There is no more settling or anything else like that. That's, mm -mm. It's going to be good for us to build on. And it's going to be strong. It's going to be hard to drill through, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, all right? Story <laughs> I'm gonna of be, life. I'm going to be having to buy multiple drill bits to <laughs> get through that concrete, but 
It is what it is. I have faith in us. I have faith that we will get this done. Um, basically, what we're going to try to get done this week, honestly, um, I know we're going to have to place one more order for some zip board and stuff, so that way we can complete it. Yep. But if we can get to the point where we are ready for zip board and some more ice and water shields, and so it basically is like connecting in and looking like the roof, right, how it already is, and it's all connected, then we can go over to the front and start working on the mudroom. Yep. And that'll be exciting, you know, kind of change the scenery around a little bit. It'll be pretty nice right there, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And then we won't have to worry while we're... While that's sitting there waiting, like if any more rain or anything comes, it'll make being downstairs on the back patio that much nicer because at least it'll be protected fully from the top. Yeah. Um, and we can, it'll be at that good walk away point to where we go over to the front, start working on that mud room, get that all connected into the roof, ice and water shield it. And then it's like, all right, let's get this metal on this sucker and let's do it. Yeah. And that's kind of what we're really fighting for and what we're really trying to, to get done, honestly. No. But Gary and I have just been taking it day by day and doing it to where it's an them. enjoyable process for us. Um, we've worked ourselves like to death in the past and gotten myself super sick and I've run into health issues and then Gary's had health issues. Um, and it's really, it's, and that was just honestly just fighting really hard to try to get out of the camper with the kids. And yep. now that we're out of the camper with the kids and we're in the basement, we ha there's zero need to push our bodies and push our like to that limit and to push the kids aside as much as we had to do that first year and a half that we were here. Um, I know we didn't show you guys a lot of that, but when what do you think's going on when kids when we're working for 12 or 14 hours a day and we have three little kids, the kids are not getting taken care of is the best way that I would want to not saying that they were neglected because they no. weren't. Um, they were good, but they were good, but our family unit, like the dynamic, the dynamic of everything. Yeah. And, you know, we worked it out with Anthony and rocks to where like they would help watch the kids. And then we would help watch Wyatt when we were all in that camp life, um, scenario, right. Yeah. Where we were all just fighting to get out of our trailers. Um, but again, now that there is no need for any of that, our whole family dynamic is like gelled a whole lot better. And, we're just not, we're not willing to, uh, to sacrifice like our future in that kind of a way. There was something we were listening to on a podcast. I want to, I don't want to misquote it, but we were listening to Joe Rogan the other day when we were driving into town, which if you like Joe Rogan, you like him. If you don't like him, you don't like him. That's fine. But we were listening to his podcast the other day and there was a, um, a person on there and he was talking about how like he was, uh, you know, fighting and stuff like that, like MMA or whatever. And he was talking about how like, um, or Joe was talking to him about how like you sacrifice right now for your future or it can go either way. So if you make dumb decisions now, you're sacrificing a good future for yourself. If you make right decisions right now and you put in that pain and that gain, then you're going to get the good future. And I know I probably misquoted it definitely. Yeah. Um, but I think you guys get this, the idea that it, the seed that was planted and it made perfect sense. And it's definitely on the same plan that we're on. Like we're still going after our future and we're not going to uh, stop until we get there. Gary and I are very driven, yeah. but we had to, uh, about a year or so ago when I got shingles, man, and my health started taking a dive. Like we had to make some serious changes yeah. to how we go about doing things. And we're still very accomplished. We're still making huge strides and I'm really happy with everything. Mm -hmm. Um, but we're not putting in 14, 16 hour days, like, like we how we to. were. No, we can't. I can't. Phys I physically can't. No. And I mean, it's going to come to points where we are going to be putting in some of those mm -hmm. days, you know, but Here at and the there, same but... time, it's not every day. Yeah. And we were know? doing it every day, seven days a week. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And we, so. and there will be days where we have to put that in like that, like on trust day when we had, I mean, we worked on trust day from sun up to way past sundown. Yeah. Um, and that was everybody working too. We're, and we were going, yeah, we were going hustling and bustling. Yep. We got her done. Yes, sir. Um, let me see. What's the spoon for Mel Brian Wilkerson. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's her, it's her uh, it's microphone. Can, it's no. candy. Yeah. Hey everybody. It's my new microphone. <laughs> it's candy. I came back from the West coast and I brought back some of my favorites and I was like, I don't think people will mind if I'm eating <laughs> it's, but I'm eating this. Essentially, it's it's this, but it's on a spoon. 
this is the other one. This is actually this, which is like a spicy. Sucker. It's a spicy lollipop, but in the, in uh, the West Coast, believe it or not, this spoon is called a lollipop. <laughs> they put like this soft but yet kind of hard chili candy on there, and it's like a spicy candy. No. Yeah. It's very good. I don't know. It's a candy. I'm eating candy. <laughs> 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 oh, Brian, uh, Paul Honeyman says, I told Brian, Mel, sorry, I didn't read that. My bad. MT Homestead's in here. What's going on, MT Homestead? And uh, Brian, or Ben Schmid says, good day, still morning Thursday here. Uh, good night to your fam. Well, hey, oh, good man. day, good evening, good night, good everything. <laughs> Down under. I hope that you're having a wonderful day today. How's it going? And going it, from the future? Yeah, you're the future man. It's already Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> um let me see midnight vlogs bless all baltimore after the bridge collapse i saw yeah, that that was terrible nuts. that was horrible i felt so bad for everybody that was around or on could you imagine i saw some really freaky footage i was scrolling and i saw the footage of it colliding and everything my heart sank and i'm praying for him and everything but could you imagine being like one of the last people to cross that bridge and knowing that that was like your vehicle crossing it. And I'm praying that they, they made it safely. I mean, who knows, right? But could you imagine being like the last person to cross? You that better be, be saying your singing praises and all the or blessings. being the person that's, you know, walking across it and being like, uh, run! Ugh. Yeah, no. It's like something out of a horror movie. Yeah. I think they do make horror movies like that. The thing, that, the thing that's crazy with that kind of stuff, right? It's you're not expecting the worst outcome, mm -mm. right? You're like, oh, no, 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 they're professionals. They know what they're doing. Yeah. You know, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. They're, you're like, and you're like, you're there literally like contemplating with yourself. And like, is this really happening? Is, is this really what? happening? Like, are like they a... going to stop? Are they not going to stop? Yeah, or what's, going, what's going, on? going on? Like, I can't even imagine like in that scenario aspect of being, yeah. Uh, Chance Weaver, Gary and Mel, uh, Gary, are you going to put a big window in your garage so you're able to see the beautiful mountain at, uh, and maybe some skylights in your garage? And what about skylights in the house? So, great question. Great, thank you great for asking. Question. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm definitely going to be putting a lot of windows in the garage, but not. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be putting any skylights in. I'm a. Uh, this might upset some people. It might not. It, I don't know. But I'm not a big Skylight fan. And a lot of it isn't for the fact of, like, the natural light coming in from them. It's great. It's awesome. My mindset is more on the, the leak-proof aspect. And they always seem to be an issue. <laughs> no matter which way you look at them, like skylights always have some sort of an issue with leaking or not leaking. I'm sorry. I just read the comment from O'Rourke's Littlefield. She said, Mel, the Arkansas River Bridge collapsed and killed 13 or so. Dang. A barge hit it. The one at Fort Smith. What? What? So we got two bridges, two bridges going down, down with two boats hitting them. Okay, I feel so, that's weird. I'm like, no, like zero disrespect. I can't believe that 13, that's horrible. That's that is nuts. absolutely horrible. What I'm raising my eyebrow about is just like, really? That's really weird. Is that not really weird? That's really, I think that that's really weird. And that's absolutely horrible and devastating to those three, 13 people and their families. That's really weird. No. Yeah. It kind of gave me the heebie jeebies. Oh. Hearts go out there for those families out there. That's really close to home, too. I'm going to look more into that. Yes. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to squirrel on you guys. Mm -hmm. um, they have those cool small ones that let in more light about the size of a bottle of wine, says Amy. Still, I'm sorry, you guys. Like I said, I might upset some people. <laughs> this is the battle that I go through with Gary sometimes when I say I want something and he's See, like... See, we had skylights in Arizona and I thought they were the coolest things until I, I had to go up there and constantly have to re-silicone and seal that area. <laughs> and yeah, no. I'm like, man, this is dumb. Like, the way that these are and I started looking up how just like everything's flashed into the way it is and everything else. And it's just, 
they're never as as good as what it seems, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Oh, Maggie Creech says, David Moffat, um, I just reached out to my partners to see if maybe we can sponsor your channel from Blackout Coffee Company. That would be nope. awesome. Thank you so much. I would def I would take you up on it. I would take mm -hmm. you up on it because that would be cool. Especially if I like it. Especially if it's like really good stuff. Um, <laughs> Clarence says, there are only two types of skylights. Those that do leak and those that will leak. Exactly. Chance has got your back, Gary. Exactly. All right. I'm, I'm glad that somebody's got my back. <laughs> or I'm sorry, not Chance. Clarence. I'm so Clarence. sorry. Clarence yes. has got Thank your back. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, man. I'm... <laughs> They're, they look cool. They're awesome. Gary's usually They're right a nightmare about... when it comes down to leaks. <laughs> Gary's right about most things. So whenever I have a suggestion or something to Gary and Gary goes, no, no, no. Then I'm like, okay, I'll just stop right now because he's definitely <laughs> done the research and... You know, you have authority to make decisions like that in our family, and I trust you, and I back you up. So it's like... There, there's a lot of things, though, that you... That I want, and I don't get. No, that you put your foot down, and it happens. Like what? I'm just saying. Anything that you put your foot down on it. And you, you're, I'm like, all right. And it ends up working. One way or another for you. I can't think of a single thing that I've really Same. dragged my heels in on. Well, there's not a whole lot that you drag your heels in on, but at the same time, when you are, when you're like, hey, I'm just saying, like, I'm like, all right, usually if I'll I back mention off. it like a couple of times, it's I won't drag my heels in. But usually, what I'll do is I'll like mention it a few times and be like, oh, it sure would be nice, <laughs> and Gary will figure out a way to make it happen for me because he's a good husband. <laughs> but I won't, I won't drag my heels in. I won't be like, you know. Now it needs to happen now. I'll just be like, sure would be nice. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> My bad. <clears throat> um I'm gonna see. A chance. Oh no, I start an argument. No, no argument. We're not arguing. I hope that nobody else no. is arguing in the no. comments or anything. Hope everybody's staying cool and happy and everything's all good. Um Kathleen, where's that other comment she left? Am I missing something? I'm missing something, I think. Kathleen said, like, those six chickens at Tractor Supply. It was nine. It was nine. <laughs> it was nine. <laughs> but yes, yes. So I Just guess, like those. So if Just you guys like those. don't follow our other <laughs> channel, Real Talk with SLR, you're missing out on some good stuff. Um, so what happened was... <laughs> And actually, the chickens won't be on Simple Life Acclaimed for a while because I've actually got videos that I need to edit and put out for you guys, and um, I need to I need to get back back to work, back to the matrix, the grind. And if I have yeah, my way, it. I was like, didn't we film the chickens? I could have sworn. We but did it no, on Real it's Talk. On Real Talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those that are on Real Talk have already seen all the chickens. Yeah. So what happened was, is I had to go shopping like after our trip to come home and like get the things like the coffee like we're talking about and get get all the things and um anyhow long story short tractor supply is right across the street essentially from our walmart in Boonville. mind you i'm not driving yeah i'm driving because i'm um gary's like, driven out he's like I white already, flag i'm done yeah he's like i drove so much so <laughs> we're going to walmart and like i looked to my, i see from my left there's a big sign that says chicks here and i was all I'm going to look and see if they have any turkeys because I really wanted some turkeys. We've talked about it and we've already discussed it. And Gary and I were on the same page with like, hey, you know, and if I we can still, find some turkeys. I was still with her back and forth, even with the turkeys. Yeah, saying, he was hey, still huffing and puffing. Come on, man. Like we're, we're literally getting 100 chickens here. Like, yeah, but those are chickens. Those aren't turkeys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Those so, are those are. Uh, yeah. Those are ch those are I had I had to I had to say something about it, right? Uh huh. But so all right. Brian says you got something on Facebook. I just saw that. I wiped it. It's probably candy. I'm sitting probably. here flinging my. I'm sitting here talking, flapping my candy. Anyways, um, so we drive past. I see the chicks inside. I go inside to see if they have any turkeys. They did not have any turkeys. However. They did have um, a bunch of chickens in there, and so our rooster Chanticleer and our rooster Calvin, they should have 12 ladies each, 
and they didn't. They only had, I think we only had like 11 chickens. We have 15. We have 15 total. 15, 15 chicks and two roosters. 17 birds total. I thought there was less than that in there. Anyhow, we, the math mathed and <laughs> the math ended up mapping. And we ended up getting nine chickens, so that way the roosters would each have 12. And that way they can stop fighting so much. Because it's not that they're, like, constantly on each other, but Chanticleer does get... He's he's lower on the pecking order. He is lower. He is lower. So. And he needs some ladies to be his own, so... It'll <laughs> happen, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. So we end up going into Tractor Supply, and I end up getting uh, four different types of chickens. And actually, I never did share the information. I'm looking on my phone. I never did share with what breeds they are. And I will tell you right now. We got the Amber Link Pullets. We got the Golden Sex Links. We got the Blue Legged Beauty. And we got the Pearl Onyx. Yeah. And they're all very good egg layers. Two of them are dual purpose. And they all should be laying brown eggs. Yeah. So... I'm excited about them. Um, should be good. Should the, be good. The, the brooder is inside the house. We could have brought it outside um, and put it all the way over there, but we didn't want to deal with the extension cord and the dogs possibly ruining it. Um, plus, I don't think we have one that's quite long enough to go all the way down there, so we'd have to like put two of them together. And with all the rain, it just wasn't what we wanted to do. It's so not a good idea. We'd have to go not out and buy idea. another really long one. Yeah. So we just decided to keep them inside. And the kids and are, still connect them. Yeah. Yeah, Still exactly. Connect them. exactly. The kids are doing a great job with them inside, though. They come home and like the first thing they do is go and grab a chicken and play with a chicken. Um, and then uh, they make sure that the water is all good on them. They're feeding them. Mm -hmm. It's set up pretty nice for them for now. Yeah. But yeah, we did. We did kind of do a thing. And it's all my fault. <laughs> it's all my fault. She said turkeys, turkeys, turkeys the whole time. So we were in there and then she seen the chicken Chickens. and was like, oh, chickens? Turkeys, turkeys. Can I get some chickens? chickens? And I was like, oh my goodness, It's chicken man. math. The like, math <laughs> math, all right? The math math. And then I had to look at her and be like, all right, you know, we can only get nine. And nine's the max. <laughs> Oh, uh, Wade Rue, hello to Simple Life Reclaimed from the great state of Montana, that we, God country, and hello to the chat. Sorry, I am late. You are not late, Wade. You are just in time. How's it going up Thank in Montana? Thank you for being here. Um, let's see. <laughs> you should have left that candy on your face for Mel, or for Gary, Mel. No. 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 <laughs> no. No. What <laughs> <A little> weird. <laughs> That's gross. I knew people that used to do that little... I'm a little weird when, you know, if I, something's mine and I'm eating it, don't, don't, don't ask for a bit of it. Cause if you take a bite out of it and like, it's yours. I don't want it anymore. I don't want it. It's <laughs> 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 same thing with like my drinks and then the kids come and take a drink out of it. I'm all, nope, that's all yours, buddy. I don't, I don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic says chicken math is funny and it adds up fast. It does. Yeah. I mean, again, we went in there for turkeys, and then I ended up seeing the chickens, and then it just happened. But I'm happy that it happened, uh, because now Chanticleer and Calvin are going to be very happy. Yeah. And we still are getting those hundred chickens. I want to say that they're, we're still, we still got the hundred coming, but I don't think that we're getting them. I have it on my calendar. I want to say it's either it's the like end May. of May. It's like May The 3rd. first week of May, or the end right of April. We have street. like a month. Mm -hmm. Right around our anniversary. Yeah. We'll be, 100 chickens. We'll be having 100 chickens. So we have an idea. We are going to have to like do a quick uh, a quick pen build over there, but we'll probably do it on the weekends because right now, like we said earlier, our huge focus right now is to get ourselves ready for a roof to be put on this thing. Yep. And um, I think by the end of this week, we should be at a point to where we are getting materials, definitely ordering them. Hopefully we'll have them. It just depends on what's in stock and where things are. But today was Which a very be, good day. Today was a very, very good day. No, it's going to be perfect, honestly. Yeah. Because we're supposed to be getting some gnarly winds this weekend, mm -hmm. which sucks mm -hmm. for trying to do other things on this weekend. But we are supposed to be getting gnarly winds, and we're supposed to be getting hit with some more rain Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. 
So if we get this to a point where we can order it, order a lot of materials and everything like that, get it by Wednesday. It'll be right after the rain's done, things are drying out, be able to work a little bit more. Dang, Paul says five minutes, you guys, already? Dang, it that is that time. That went by super fast. Man, I literally just looked over and it was 7.38. Yeah, me too. I was like, oh, we still got another 20 minutes to hang out. <laughs> that went by super fast. That went by super quick. Um, Maggie Creech says, I'm the same way, Gary. <laughs> She's got your back. <laughs> She's got your back, Gary. Um, Wade Rue, it, well, it warmed up some today and all the snow is melting, but it's still not that warm here. Yeah, this no. morning, you know, we've been having really cold mornings, like 28 degrees it's or supposed so. supposed to have a frost warning, supposedly, tonight, even though it's only saying that it's supposed to get down to like 37. I don't know where the frost is coming from. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know, because today was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. This and we had such was, a fun day. This morning was pretty chilly. Yeah, but like the day. Yeah. <laughs> Midnight vlogs. Time flies when you're having fun, Mel. I'm telling you, I just love you guys. Seriously, mm -hmm. you guys are the best. It's so fun to be able to chill and hang out with you guys and just kind of like take a load off after such a busy day and after Ooh. just all the stuff that we do to be able to just hang out with you guys. It's yeah. so much fun. It's, it's a blast. I feel like we get to know you guys better. And then like, I feel like you guys kind of get to know us a little bit better too. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you guys see us over on real talk and I guess you, that'd be another like good place to like, just really get to know us. Cause it's all unedited, but the lives and those, that format, I feel like you can really, uh, feel people out. Where, like, yep. the edited videos, I feel like sometimes people will put their um, interpretation on us, even though I feel like we're doing the same and being the same. It's it's real life. But because it's edited, it it leaves room mm -hmm. for others' interpretation. If that makes sense. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> um, we're 46 in New York right now, and it's supposed to be in the 60s tomorrow. Thanks. Dang. Yeah, we're in the, we're warmer than that. Yeah. We're, but we're colder than that at night, but then warmer than that in the day. Yeah, I think so. we're mid-70s mm -hmm. today. I think tomorrow is going to be about mid-70s, 77. Yeah. Right about, right about there. Gary is sleepy, says Brian Wilkerson. I am. I'm we're a being... little tired. And today was great fun being out there, working, getting at it again. It was. I'm a little, I am a little tired. I am too, to... and I actually have to, I got to edit tonight, that way I can get a video out for you guys tomorrow, <laughs> wish me luck, <laughs> and I still have to cook dinner and, you know, crack the whip on the showers and all the stuff, I still have all the things to do, so I have, I still have several hours until I get to go to bed, but it'll be worth it. It'll be good. It'll be all right. It'll be worth it. And I don't think the next video should take too long to edit. No. So we'll see. Um, I do want, I don't want to burst anybody's bottle. The next video is not going to be all the work that we got done today. You guys will be getting that later on in the week. Um, but we're going to be <laughs> catching you guys up. I got it on the calendar. All the work that we did out in the second tier. Mm, okay. So they're going to get all that tomorrow. And then yes. later on in the week, you guys will start getting all of our work vlogs again. Because I know that everybody's itching and waiting for that. Um, She's just stringing you along right there. <laughs> stringing you along. When? When? <laughs> soon. 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 <laughs> Very soon, you guys. Soon. So um, we are going to send you guys on your way to go to MT Homestead. They actually go live right after us um, on Wednesdays. And they're very yes. good friends of ours. We love Mike and Terry over there. Um, and I would love for you guys to go spend some time over there. I'll see you about popping into that live chat as well. Uh, yep. But I'm going to be cooking dinner and dishes and stuff like that. So we'll see. I'm definitely going to be listening because I'm always lurking. But I'll yep. see how active I can be in there. But let's do a love raid over to MT Homestead. Somebody drop their link. Somebody drop it. I see Paul has dropped the link. Perfect. Thank you, Paul. You're on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. Now Now you know why I want to trade weather with yours. Going to make it there sooner than later, says David Moffat. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. It's, it's actually pretty nice out here. The it's summers nice. do get pretty... I mean, you're from the East Coast, so you're already used to the wet boot eater in the summer. 
but it's a real thing. You're always wet out here in the summer. Um, yeah. But if you can get past that, the weather is absolutely beautiful. Yes. So, hundred percent. Anyhow, guys, we love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Um, mosey on over to MT Homestead, watch their live. We'll be in there. Um, I should be able to stay up tonight and get a new video out for you guys tomorrow here on Simple Life Reclaimed. And we will be on our secondary channel, Real Talk with SLR, tomorrow morning. So I hope that you guys can join us and hang out because we love you guys so much. Yep. And um, thank you for everything, friends. Until oh, the next yes. one, we love you all, and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.